Alright, hey, Hades Omega here, and welcome to another uh, of Hades Omega's winter uh, Sauron Light B uh, build project, alright, for 2022, alright, it's 2022 now. So I've been sick with like COVID for like the last two weeks, and I haven't really gotten a whole lot of work done on the bike. I was hoping I could get some work done on the bike while I was sick, but I was like so sick that I could not work on the bike, alright. The last thing I did to the bike was... I installed the rear shock and this uh, tail light. So I pretty much, my, my focus was to get the rear end of the bike done. So now we're going to get the front end of the bike done finally, okay? And that's the important one because we're going to install a new fork, okay? So what Hazy Mega's got planned is uh, I'm just going to start disassembling the front tonight. I'm not going to get too crazy on it, but I'm just, I'm going to take the handlebar bag off, the NXT display, um, start dismantling the headlight. The whole headlight assembly is going to come off the bike, all right? Because uh, we're going to put a brand new headlight assembly, all right? Because because uh, it won't fit with this new fork. And I have I have all that stuff. I already mentioned that stuff in the, the, the first build video, okay? But when I get there, I'll show it to you. Um, so I've got a couple things to help me install this new fork. Uh, this is a, uh, a star nut installer tool, all right? Um, so the when I installed this fork, all right, on this bike, I used a hammer and a and a and the bolt to put it in, and I bent the I bent one of the bolts putting it in. So uh, I got a proper tool this time, all right. I got this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description video if you guys want to know where where I bought it, all right. If you just if you want to buy one too, um, I will be using this when I install the new one. Okay, um, this one. I also this uh, the head tube on this I didn't cut uh, it was I left it the way it was so it's, it was a little bit higher than the other one I think I want it like my original fork all right my original fork didn't need a spacer on it so I'm gonna cut it a little bit short like that other one my my original fork so I'm gonna pull that out and then we're gonna measure it and then we're gonna cut it okay um, but yeah so I got this tool we'll take a look at it when when I need to go use it. Okay, and I got a star nut, all right? This actually, this tool actually comes with two star nuts also, by the way, all right? And I'm planning to use one of the star nuts to maybe install a fender, okay? But uh, well, we're gonna use this star nut. This came from one of the, the Sauron, beefy Sauron headsets. They give you one. Uh, I don't know why, because <laughs> you don't really need it to install the, the, um, the bearing, because your fork should already have it. But I, I got another one right here, and this is the one we're gonna use. To install the fork okay okay I'm not 100% but I've got a pipe cutter tool that's what we're gonna use to cut the head tube all right shorter I'm pretty sure that head tube is it's way too long it needs to be cut um, and I mean it's good that it's long so you can cut it down to the size you need it for okay um, so this is a pipe cutter I don't know if this is gonna work um, I should probably try it on something real quick <laughs> but we're, we'll use this if, if we if it doesn't if it doesn't work we'll use a saw okay um, but I had this in my toolbox and I, I want to use it <laughs> all right so uh, Hayes is gonna start taking the front apart I'll take some pictures along the way and then uh, and then yeah I'll, I'll see if I can get some video of any juicy stuff but but I'm just gonna go start taking it apart now all right in the all right he's making here this is how far I've gotten in like an hour or so uh, I've taken the headlight off. It's just kind of dangling there. Um, I'm going to have to disconnect that at some point. But uh, I did find out that the right blinker doesn't work. All right, The left blinker works, but the right blinker doesn't. Okay, and I, and I checked it with the test light and a multimeter, and it works. It's getting, it's getting uh, power, but the light doesn't work. So I guess this light is busted now, so... So three of my four turn signals, are, but it's okay. I bought new turn signals. That's fine. We could still probably salvage this one, but 
we'll put the new ones on this I'll keep that as a backup uh, the plan is to uh, to run these so this is the plan is, plan is going to be to install a new light all right it's pretty much the same light as that one and install new and then install these uh, waterproof connectors all right so so if I do need to disconnect this stuff in the future it I can easily do it like that okay kind of big though um, I've got I'll get one for the headlight all right I got one I got one for the headlight and the uh, and the two turn signals okay this should be good and then uh, this is our headlight bracket that we'll be using in place of that and I got some new turn signals okay basically they're pretty much the same as those ones I think let me see yeah they're exactly the same <laughs> so you can tell whoever these are Amazon specials or what they are okay so it's gonna go on there like that okay when we're done um, this wire looks pretty long too, so I think it'll reach. So, so uh, I got my soldering iron there, and we're gonna go unsolder the uh, the connectors, and then uh, and then uh, we'll just leave them like that for now. All right, it, it's pretty simple. I just read the red, black to black, so I don't even bother labeling it. All right, uh, yeah, maybe I might label the left and the right, it's just uh, just in case I mix them up. All right, here's Mega. All right, here's Mega here. So. This is what my bike looks like after about one and a half hours. Seemed about night long. And there you go, I got the fork out. <laughs> so um, the bearings still look good. We're still going to use the bearings. I might take them out and repack them. I think a little bit of water got in there, but it's nothing bad. I packed it really good last time, so. Yeah, I probably won't, probably won't even bother cleaning it. I'm just going to repack, just pack a little extra grease in there. And, uh, and yeah, so it's pretty much the other one is ready to go on almost. Um, so we're going to have to transfer this bearing from the other one. These are the headlight brackets for this. We won't be using that for the, uh, for the new one. And yeah, so uh, I guess I better get the other fork out. But uh, I think I'm done for today. I pretty much pulled everything off and um, we're ready to go put the new one on. The uh, what we really have to do, what we have to do to prep the new fork is we need to cut the the steering head tube. All right. Um, I'll go pull my other fork out and I'll measure how long it is. And we got to remove this bearing here, which is shouldn't be that hard. All right. But, uh, I will do that tomorrow. I'm done for tonight. <laughs> okay. Just like how my laundry is done right now. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna kind of leave all that stuff right there. For the most part, I took I tried to take as many pictures as I could along the way, so I remember what where the wires all go. But I think if I just leave it like this, I think we'll be. Oh man, it looks like I need to change my grip. My grip is wearing out. Dripping them handlebars too long, too much. And then when we put everything back together, I'm gonna replace this uh, thumb throttle. Um, we'll be putting new turn signals on. We're gonna put it on the handguards. So it'll be sweet, man. It'll be a sweet setup. Okay. So, yeah, and we're probably not going to use this spacer, okay, so I'm going to try to not use this, is <laughs> what I say, all right? Because I, I felt like I like the handlebar just a little bit lower. This is what, like five millimeters? Yeah. So I lowered it like five, I'm going to lower it five millimeters from the way it was before. I kind of like it a little bit lower. So I think it was perfect the way it was before. Okay, so yeah, done for tonight. Pretty much all I got done, what I got done was uh, we took the old fork off, right? And then I tested the head, the signal lights. I'm going to have to this, I'm going to have to unsolder this at some point. I think we're going to put a new one, so I'll probably do that before we put the fork in. Okay, and it's quite, it's, my garage is a mess again. All right, I was able to unsolder those wires, so we'll be adding these connectors to it. I hope they're kind of big, man, but, but they're waterproof, so that's a good thing. And I'll be be able to easily disconnect it, and it'll actually it'll actually look cleaner. I think there's going to be a lot less electrical tape. I mean, there will be electrical tape where I solder these to the new wires, but yeah, I, the wires don't even need to be that big. The wires are pretty small, so. But whatever. It, it'll make it'll make uh, working on the front of the bike a lot easier if I had those. Like I'm always constantly soldering and unsoldering, and yeah. So, well, we'll see how it works out. All right. 
So that's it for tonight. I've taken the bike apart and uh, then we'll start uh, working on getting a new fork on tomorrow. Okay. Now, we'll actually, what I'll do is I'll shoot a video, a comparison video between the RST fork and the, uh, the Manitou Dorado. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Here's my go.